In this video, I will tell you how to write a good research background. But before knowing that, each and every researcher must know that a good research not only addresses the practical issue but it addresses an academic issue and a practical issue in a combined manner so the difference between writing a research background and a problem statement usually is that a research background ends with a discussion of the practical issue of the research so i would just say for an example uh please stay away with me so, okay so i will edit text already copy this with me so here it is suppose this is a practical issue so okay it's covering more space so i will do like this okay okay so this for example this is a practical issue that is need to be addressed in a particular research i will just read it for you e business growth in malaysia is not as much as e business growth in many other developed countries for example china usa australia canada so now this statement will be the ending statement of a research background as well as the starting statement of the problem statement so if this is ending statement so it will define what can be discussed before so okay just i would say to you just start thinking if i have to discuss this issue what other aspects will make a background of it so for example here we have e business when you are talking about e business nobody might ever know about this so what i would say in my background the first paragraph may include explain no i would say description about e business okay then because it is said that malaysia sorry the e business growth in malaysia is not as much as e business growth in many other developed country so we need to analyze growth of some other developed countries is whatever they are china usa and etc okay now one more thing just think from the perspective of an audience so now somebody might ask 
that if you are comparing China and USA with Malaysia, there is a difference of population. So now, how you can answer? You can say that I am calculating growth rate in terms of percentage rather than in terms of the figures. Okay, there is another way. You can say that, okay, even if in terms of population, there is a different, let's compare it with those countries who might have an identical number of population although they cannot be extremely the same but can be somewhere near the population of Malaysia for example Australia or Canada so comparison no this would be analysis of e business growth rate of countries with almost same population Australia or Canada and then finally you would say however comma now just come to this statement however e-business growth in Malaysia is not as much as e-business growth in many other developed countries that is China USA Australia and Canada so in this way you will be able to define more precisely and a very good research background so after this we will be writing the problem statement so hope you get this idea and hope you will be able to write your thesis in more organized manner now thank you so much